Fortnite cars have finally arrived and we have our first look. What's up guys, welcome to another video. If you're new here, we love dropping great tips, top 10s and highlights on our channel. We are quickly growing and we appreciate all of our subscribers. If you're not already subscribed and you like the content, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on post notifications by clicking or tapping that bell. Make sure to give this video a like and share it with friends. I'm Jess for Top Barrel Gaming and let's get into today's video. Epic has finally released the much anticipated drivable vehicles and we'll be going over those today. We also got some new skins and leaks. The long anticipated Joyride V13.4 Fortnite update just came out this week and with it came something that we've all been waiting to get our hands on since the start of the season. Yes, we are talking about cars. After months of teasing and weeks of delay, Epic is finally making all you Motor Freak's dreams come true by adding cars into the gameplay. I'm sure all of you have a good idea about what these cars would look like and some of the names given to them. We'll be going into detail about the mechanics and how these vehicles actually work and how you can use them. Be sure to stay tuned till the end of the video because we have got some pretty exciting leaks we're sure you don't want to miss. Stick around to find out about a new skin and possibly new floppers and small fry being added to the game. Before we dive into the details of different vehicles, let's talk a little bit about the mechanics of all the cars in general and how all of them work. There are a total of four drivable cars in the game right now with each of its own set of advantages and disadvantages. You can find them almost in every named location and in random places all over the map. Let's go over the names of the cars. The cars are classified in terms of their size, so there is a small, medium and large car. And we've also got a truck as the fourth drivable vehicle. Each one has a unique name and we'll go over those shortly. Before we do that, I want to talk about the general aspects. Now all of these vehicles require gas, which we think was made very obvious after gas stations started to show up around the map. You still get material when you hit a car, just like how it was with the Brutes. Each car can hold different volumes of gas and burns gas at a different rate. Some are more gas efficient than others. The top speeds and how much the car accelerates also vary. How much health the car has differs as well. You can boost with all of the vehicles to go faster. Like most online shooting games, it turns out that cars go faster on roads rather than on grass. So that's something worth noting. By boosting, you'll be able to tie your skid, but your speed needs to be at least 20. You'll also be able to do brake skids if you're going above a speed of 10. As for the car taking damage, Epic was kind of creative here. If you shoot directly at the tire of the car, you can blow it up, which greatly affects the maneuverability of the car. If your car is blown from a close range, you take 200 damage, meaning you instantly get knocked or die, and if you're a bit further away but still in the radius of the blast, you take 50 damage. So just be aware of that. If the car is being shot at, there is a chance that gas starts to leak, which means that the car will run out of gas fairly quickly. You can also damage players by ramming them with the car. The damage varies between 20 and 100 depending on how fast you are going. Remember that you can also damage your own teammates with the vehicle, so be careful. We should appreciate the fact that this time Epic brought a vehicle which isn't too OP and balanced it out very nicely. So hats off to you, Epic. They also added a nice little feature called Radio Stations, where you can now casually vibe to a range of different music while driving your car and guess what? You can listen to famous artists like Drake, Juice World, and Ariana Grande from the radio stations. How about that? You can now see from the screen the songs that you can listen to. For all you streamers out there, don't worry. You can turn off all the copyrighted music from the settings. In order to tell apart the cars you can drive and can't drive, just look at the tires of the car. If it has a yellow tire blocker, the car cannot be driven. You can fill up your tank with gas by either finding a gas pump from the gas stations or from gas cans which are scattered all across the map. And now to the part that we're sure you've all been waiting for. Let's go in depth on the four different types of cars and the best way to use them. Mud flap. Starting off with the biggest of all the vehicles, the truck, or better known as mud flap. This is a typical semi truck that you'd come across on your everyday road. This truck has a total HP of 1200, which is the most HP that any type of car has. 
It has a fuel capacity of 100 and spawns between 80 to 100 gas inside. The mudflap burns around 0.333 amount of gas per second while driving, which means on a full tank you can drive it for a good 5 minutes before you need to refuel it, which is without boosting. You should keep in mind that you burn 10 amount of gas per second when you boost while driving the truck. This is the most out of all of the vehicles. The truck is best for when you're rotating to the zone or if you have a lot of distance to cover to get into zone and the truck would be your best bet. This is the best vehicle on land for this is the most fuel efficient one of them all. OG Bear This is a pickup truck and the largest car in the game. It has the same amount of HP as the mudflap but it burns a staggering 0.75 amount of gas per second. This is almost double that of the mudflap, but don't you worry, the OG Bear can carry 150 pints of gas, so it can run 3.3 minutes without boosting. However, the amount of gas burned from boost is one lower than that of the mudflap. The OG Bear spawns with gas in the range of 50 to 150 pints of gas. This would be most effectively used when you need to get into the zone from a distance or when you're running away from a fight. The high HP of the car will surely prove useful for these scenarios. Islander Prevalent Next in line is the medium-sized car. This is what you'd call a normal, average kind of car. It has a fuel capacity of 100 pints and burns gas 0.5 pints per second, which gives the driver around 2 minutes before having to refill. This also means that the maximum gas capacity for this car is 100 pints of gas. The Islander Prevalent has a total health of 1000 HP, so it would be very easy for a whole squad to blow up the car. The perfect scenario to use this car would be when you're moving from one place to another inside the zone to loot or get mats. Whiplash We all know this is a car that everyone's dying to try out. This looks like a sports car and has the highest acceleration out of all of the cars. With boost, you can reach up to 80 in speed. This beast has 800 HP, so watch out for that. Whiplash burns only 0.375 pints of gas per second and has 100 pints in the full tank, so you can go for around 4.5 minutes without boosting. The car spawns with 40 to 100 pints of gas. This car would be ideal for when you need to get into the zone as quickly as possible or if you're already inside the storm and need to get out very quickly. What do you guys think of the vehicle so far? Are you as excited as we are that they finally arrived? Make sure to hit that like button to let us know. Comment down below if you've had the chance to drive some of these around already. Now let's move on to a new skin. We all love a good Jonesy skin and this time it's Stranded Jonesy, which will be coming to the item shop as a 800 V-Bucks skin. Two new bundles are dropping very soon as well. There have been leaks of new types of flopper and small fries, which gives you boosts and different types of power-ups. Here are some leaked pics of some of the fishes. Here's a look at all of the new wraps and cosmetics going to the item shop very soon. And this hasn't been confirmed yet, but exclusive sources say that Ariana Grande and Lady Gaga will be doing a collab with Fortnite very soon. What do you guys think about that? And lastly, in the trailer picture, you can clearly see a new shotgun and the hand cannon, so we're guessing we can expect to see those at the end of the season or at the beginning of the next season. And that wraps up our latest news breakdown with Fortnite. Which car are you most excited to drive? Let us know in the comments down below. Check out some of our other videos and be sure to subscribe and turn on that bell to get notified about our latest videos.